Uthman Adam and his fellow Nigerians work hard to earn their living in this car wash shop in the Libyan capital. He's left his family in the southern city of Sabha because he does not earn enough money to bring them to live in Tripoli. I got this job through a friend. Before that, I used to work in a farm in the south of Libya. It didn't help me, so I came to Tripoli to work in this car wash shop. Here I make around $365 a week. It depends on the number of cars we wash each week. They say working here is better than being jobless in Niger, and their long journey north crossed the border into southern Libya. As the value of the Libyan dinar has fallen, these migrants face three choices. To stay in Libya and deal with financial insecurity, or go back home and face uncertainty. And their third choice is to risk their lives and try to reach Europe by being smuggled in boats across the Mediterranean Sea. Thousands of migrant workers are victims of exploitation, extortion, and discrimination. Some of them haven't got residency documents, so they accept any kind of work, including farming and construction. Ali Okasha is a deputy labor minister. He's doing his best to protect workers' rights. Those casual workers are unregistered, so they don't have proper paperwork, and therefore they work outside of our legislations. They represent a small percentage, and that situation is not in their favor. But in all cases, our offices are open for them if they really need help. With instability and power vacuum in Libya, illegal migration has become a growing trade. Uthman and his fellow Nigerians are resigned to working in the black economy, and they have no intention of going home. Mahmoud Abdulwahid Al Jazeera, Tripoli.